Okay, as promised, this time around, I made it back to the boat today, and my last video was yesterday, Saturday. It is now Sunday, and we have a beautiful sunny day, and I made it back to the boat and got done what I had to do, which is connect the dock lines and the fenders, got them back on the boat. Um, yeah, and I noticed that the boat is really, really dusty and dirty, but that's to be expected from where we're sitting. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting the boat down in the water, get the water turned on here at the marina, and then I can wash it off as best as I can. So not a lot else to share with you. A uh, real simple day, just came on the boat, got those done, wandered around a lot because it's just so nice to be on the boat. Anchor Girl is with me. She's still out in the car because when we got here about an hour or so ago, yeah, I'd say about an hour ago, it was really chilly, windy, and I think it's still windy out there. However, here right where I am, in the boat all closed in with the uh with the uh, canvas and the side curtains it's got quite warm i actually took my my jacket off shortly after i got here so i'm nice and comfortable now i'm going to uh wrap this one up here i don't have a lot else to share with you i was working on something else but just got frustrated because it's just <laughs> to do with electronics which is not cooperating but i'll leave that to another day not critical not important um but yeah uh the other important thing that I found out last weekend when I was here was I was talking to one of the guys and they were saying that, yeah, we are on for launch. The schedule is back to where it had been uh, starting on the 15th. And I counted as we were driving in here, I think we're about 12 boats up from where the slings and the chain falls are on the last boat they took out last year. And like, it, like I said previously, they're going to start wherever the slings are now on whatever boat like i say that's about 12 down from us so they'll drop that one in and just continue on the row on all three rows here in the marina so that means if they start next monday uh, in real time that's going to be the 15th of april which was the scheduled date so if they start that i was talking to anchor girl about it yesterday um i'm going to say that you know they can drop the boats a lot quicker than they can lift them so i'm hoping that they can probably put in five six seven boats a day let's just say five so hopefully by the third day definitely within that week of the 15th we should be in the water should be floating and again that's why i wanted to come here today and hook up the dock lines and the fenders which i've done shore power's on yes i checked the charger it's just doing its thing nicely yeah again if you saw my video from yesterday my previous video I was sharing the fact that I was looking at our uh, where the air conditioner air conditioner is going to go. If I have time later this week, this because it's supposed to be a rain day at work. Not supposed to be, but they're forecasting a rain day, so I might get back up here if it's uh, not too cold, and I might start taking the, those drawers out and taking a look, and maybe start disconnecting stuff in the old uh, old unit. Yeah, maybe even take it out. I don't know. Again, that's not a big panic, not a big uh, deal because we have the other unit at the front, the 12,000 BTU unit, and that will provide heat. That's the more important factor right now this time of year because that's a reverse, they are both reverse air, reverse cycle air heating unit. So if we need heat, which is this time of year, that would be awesome to have. So that shouldn't be a big project time wise. And as long as my back cooperates, um, yeah, I should have it swapped out within a couple of days. Slow, easy days, right? I could probably do it in one day, just giving her. But there's no uh, no real panic for that. And you know me. Once I get into it, I'll find something else to do while I'm there. And, you know, maybe some cleaning behind there that hasn't been touched in 25 years. So that may make the project drag out a little bit. That's okay, though. It's okay. It's all part of the boating joy. And hoo-ha, we are this close to launch again. So why am I inside the boat talking to you today? Just like yesterday, our previous video, is because a fellow boaters got the uh, stereo blasting and again, good tunes, man. They were just playing the end by the doors. This is the end, do, 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 right? Opening and ending scene in Apocalypse Now. Awesome movie. Anyway, so I'm drifting again, um, but he had that playing and if I had recorded that, then you know this would be a copyright flag with uh, YouTube, so. You just have my boring face right here. If you're lucky, I got some outside shots that I'm sharing with you as well. So anyways, that's it for this one. And uh, that's the two big updates. Short uh, dock lines on and fenders on. Yay. And relaunch in uh, just over a week now. 
as always, leave your comments. Love to hear what you have to say. Let me know if you're in the water yet or when you're going in the water. And we will all look forward to boating season together. All right. From the Boogaboo boat, still up in the air, almost floating. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.